on that ridge. I'm on him, boss. No, I'm crying out. Just use the hose on him. Well, our work is done, Comics. Playing a course for HQ. You got it, boss. Another fine harvest, Slog. You ought to be congratulated. Fine harvest? Look, they're all skin and bones. I'm barely meeting my protein quota here. <laughs> it's no wonder you're Orion Burger's top protein procurement agent. You're always worrying about your quota. Come. Perhaps this next assignment will be more... Lucrative for years. The planet is called Earth. Preliminary analysis indicates a high likelihood of harvestability. And this will be your test specimen. Look at him. There can't be much of a brain inside that puny skull. Testing this creature for intelligence would clearly be a waste of time. I agree, but some nosy alien rights activists have been poking around and accusing us of harvesting intelligent life forms. Oh, but it's the smart ones that give our burgers their mouth water and flavor. I know, Slug, but as long as they're watching our every move, we simply cannot risk getting caught harvesting intelligent life forms. The Earth specimen must be tested. Very well. But I have a feeling that this human will flunk with flying colors. <laughs> <laughs> a bountiful harvest to you, sloggy boy. <laughs> I like that kid. Only stupid party pooping activists. <laughs> what? Still unloading? <laughs> Why aren't we unloaded yet? There was a slight delay. A fat one got jammed in the protein transfer tube. Well then, let's get this meat wagon moving. We got another job to do. <laughs> Be in my quarters reviewing the reconnaissance data. Don't disturb me until we get to Earth. Flummox! Sorry, boss. The clutch slipped. Winona, come and get it! Delicious, nutritious rodent kibble. Yum, yum! Ooh. What the? Greetings from all the nice folks in the Protein Procurement Division at Orion Burger Incorporated. <laughs> Well, it's about time. Ups a daisy. <laughs> Scrawnier than I would have hoped. Getting paid by the Tara Kilo for these second row planets is no way to make a living. Well, what are you waiting for, you flying jello mold? Strap them down. I don't have all day. 
A hundred billion neurocytes. Is that good, boss? It's pitiful! I'm amazed that this creature was able to crawl out of the primordial lose with such a sorry excuse for a brain. Okay, boss. Everything's set to go. Are you ready? Um, am I ready for what? Why, neurosynaptic testing, of course. Who are you guys? Oh, how rude of me. I am Flummox, and this is Senior Protein Procurement Agent Slarg. Protein Procurement Agent? That's right. We're purveyors of premium protein for Orion Burger Incorporated, the largest fast food chain in the entire galaxy. Your planet has been identified as a candidate for protein harvesting. So, uh, you guys are gonna make hamburgers out of me? That's the general idea, human! Where am I? You're in geosynchronous orbit directly above your Earth settlement. You mean this is a spaceship? Oh joy, Flummox! We found ourselves a complete idiot! Yeah! Imagine being in geosynchronous orbit without a spaceship! <laughs> oh, that's rich! <laughs> Why are you testing me? We're testing you to find out if Earthlings are intelligent or not. You see, intelligent life is an extremely scarce resource in the universe. We wouldn't want to grind it up in our Orion burgers by accident, would we, boss? Oh, of course not. That would be just... Uh, terrible! Uh, d -d don't you want me to take you to my leader? No, we don't test leaders anymore. They were failing our intelligence test so badly that we had to switch to randomly selected test specimens. So, you're our randomly selected Earthling. <laughs> Lucky me. Um, w w w what is neuro... whatchamacallit testing? That's neurosynaptic testing, bucko. Quite simply, we're going to apply a simulated nerve impulse to your cerebral cortex and measure how much juice your primitive little noodle can handle. Simulated nerve impulse? Um, will it hurt? Gee, uh, I don't know. Does it hurt, boss? With any luck at all, it'll be excruciating! What are these things on my head? They're electrodes, you ninny! Can't apply simulated nerve impulses without electrodes! <laughs> That's what I was afraid of! What do I have to do to pass this test? Just relax your nerve fibers and conduct as much of the impulse as you possibly can. What happens if I fail the test? Hello? Are you paying any attention at all? If you fail, we harvest your planet. Speaking of harvesting, Flummox, get on with the test! Okay, boss. Be gentle. mass of protoplasm back to his planet. I'll hold him up with the rest of those ignorant earthlings. And then clean up this mess! Aye, aye, boss! Ahem! Come on, you! Ah, uh, excuse me. What do you want? Do you have anything for a headache? Headache? Yeah, sure. I got something for your headache. <laughs> what is this thing that I'm in? It's an abductatron model 2000, I think. I'm gonna use it to send you back to Earth, to the exact time and place that you were abducted from. Phew. I thought I was gonna be burger meat. Don't be silly. You failed the test. Of course you're gonna be burger meat. You and the rest of your sorry planet. So, why are you sending me back to Earth then? Don't you think I have better things to do than lug you all the way back down to the cargo hold? 
I'm sending you back to Earth so that we can harvest you with the rest of your pathetic species. Uh, couldn't we talk this over? What's to talk about? I'm starving! Why is that gun thingy pointing at my head? Oh, that? It's just a neutrino pulse gun. I fire it at your brain, and it erases your short-term memory. Nothing to get worked up about. Why are you erasing my memory? Boy, you're just full of questions, aren't you? Well, for your information, I have to erase your memory. It's standard abduction protocol. You see, we send you back to the exact time and place we snatched you from, with no memory of your abduction. That way, you don't know you were gone, and no one else knows you were gone either. Pretty clever, don't you think? Uh, I suppose so. Of course, none of this matters a whole lot in your case. You know, with your planet about to be harvested and all. I suppose not. All right, we're ready to go. On behalf of all the nice folks in Orion Burger's Protein Procurement Division, I would like to thank you for your cooperation during our testing procedures. Have a super day. <laughs> the Geochrono Sync Unit! Oh dear, this means that the human's memory wasn't erased. Well, I know I sent him back, but, but I can't exactly tell where. Or when? Could be next week, could be last year, who knows? Oh, the boss isn't gonna like this one bit. I'm deep in gastrointestinal expulsion material. Wait a minute. This isn't where I was abducted from. One o'clock? This isn't when I was abducted from either. It was closer to two. Oh, this is really weird. I wonder if this means that I'm gonna be abducted again. Harry's Barbershop is a Boonsville landmark. Nothing remarkable about that. There hasn't been a decent movie here since the last Stubbly McQuark flick. Good afternoon, Wilbur. Hiya, Harry. Wow, your TV sure has a great picture. That's because I got it hooked up to my new satellite dish. Ain't modern technology wonderful? Still the only barber in town. Huh? I tell you, I don't know nothing about that other barber who tried to set up shop. I have no idea what became of him. No idea at all. Anyways, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. The label says, Magic Hair Styling Wax. Guaranteed to hold your due no matter what you do, or your money refunded. Hmm, that's some weird looking stuff. Hey, just leave that alone. The Lazy Susan sure keeps your barbering supplies well organized. Yep, everything's exactly where I need it. Heck, I can reach for stuff and I don't even have to look. Anything good on the tube? There's always something good on TV. Here, check this out. The Blue Jays will be How many channels do you get now? I don't know. More than I can watch. But that don't stop me from trying. How do you decide which show to watch? I just kind of surf from channel to channel and let it all wash over me. Hey, you know I can get Baywatch in over 80 languages now? Could you possibly watch any more TV? You betcha. I got a 96-inch Jumbotron on order from Fast Freddy's Discount Electronics. It has five times the screen area as the one I got now. Sounds like you're pretty happy with your dish. Well, let me put it this way. I can watch reruns of Charlie's Angels at any time of the day or night now. Wow. Uh, what is Charlie's Angels? Oh, you're so young, Wilbur. Well, judging by the floor, business must be booming. Huh? Oh, well, actually, it's been pretty slow lately. 
You're the only one who's been in here all week. Still with baseball, the Yankees and Red Sox have completed a man-for-man -man Then why is there so the much Yankees hair on the floor? The well, I've been meaning to sweep that up. And I will. Just as soon as I get a little bit of free time. He's having problems with his pitching elbow and team doctors... No other customers all week? To rest well, too bad. Oh, I don't baseball, mind. It lets me get caught up in all my soaps. I noticed that your barber pole isn't turning. Well, that's because Stoli broke it the other day. Shoot, I caught him red-handed trying to jimmy it open. He said he wanted to see where all the stripes were disappearing to. ...to rest the muscles. Still with baseball, the Yankees and Red Sox have completed a man-for-man swap. The Yankees send Ricky Henderson to... That ladder saved Harry's life when he had the big hair fire in his barber shop a few years ago. <clears throat> Gross! A scarecrow filled with human hair! I'll have to admit, though, Harry made a pretty decent likeness of himself. What a big dish! I'll bet Aunt Polly could whip up one heck of a stir-fry in that. Uh-oh. Sounds like I messed up Harry's reception. No, Pete Shakes, stupid dish. Yeah, I'm too old for this. I should go back to my old rabbit ears. Anybody home? Hmm. Not back down from the roof yet. Hmm. The label says, Magic Hair Styling Wax. Guaranteed to hold your due no matter what you do, or your money refunded. Hmm. That's some weird looking stuff. Who's out there? You again. I was up on the roof. Didn't hear you come in. Rerun. How's your new satellite dish working? Oh, it's working just fine. Well, except for those dang pigeons. What are the pigeons doing to your dish? Oh, they keep landing on it and moving it so it points in the wrong direction. Nobody message up my TV reception. Sounds like a frustrating problem. It was driving me nuts. Must have been up in that roof at least a dozen times last week, shooing off them birds and re-aiming the dish. The dish seems to be working okay now. Well, that's because I put a scarecrow up on the roof. <laughs> birds ain't gone near that dish ever since. A scarecrow? That's a clever solution. Yep. Works like a charm. <laughs> it even scared the wife. <laughs> yeah, she thinks it looks like me. Did I mention that I've been abducted by aliens? That's so. Well, you just be sure to tell them to keep their flying saucers away from those TV satellites up there. I'm having enough trouble with pigeons mucking with my dish down here. I'd like a haircut, please. Up, step right up. I was wondering how much longer you was gonna let that mop grow. Whoa! Now, how's about that piece that keeps falling in your eyes? Want me to snip it? Nope. Just a little off the sides, please. Kids today, with their long hair and love beads. Relax, Wilma. It'll only take a couple more minutes. Now, how's about some styling wax to keep that awful cowlick down? Don't mind if I do. Alrighty then. Yeah. All right, Wilbur. That'll be eight buckaroos. Put it on my tab, Harry. You don't have a tab, Wilbur. Come on, I'm good for it! 
Yeah, that's what all you long-haired kids say. Oh, all right. Pay me next time, Wilbur. See ya, Harry! <laughs> Kid still looks like a sheepdog. That's the shop where I work. It's the only decent paying job in town that doesn't involve... Home sweet home. Doesn't look very important. Ooh, you kidding me? <laughs> you actually see a rich plumber in my future, Miss Sabrina? Ooh, what? And he's good looking too! <laughs> Wee! No one's looked at my pipes in a long time. <laughs> Whoops! I gotta go, Miss Sabrina. Did you just call that psychic hotline again? Hmm, Wid, yes. How are you feeling today, Aunt Polly? Oh, I'm having a good day today. Just some minor arthritic pain, acid indigestion, rheumatism, dizzy spells, and I think I passed something this morning. That's good to hear. I just wish the exterminator would hurry up and get here. Then I'd feel even better. I'll bet my gerbils got out of their cage again. That's all. Aw, look at the smile on Lucky's face. Must be before we had him fixed. Aunt Polly says she would have given her eye teeth to meet the king. Actually, she probably would have given her whole set of dentures. I think it's Aunt Polly in her younger days. Or it could be... Doesn't look very important. Study McQuark issue number 483. A classic! My limited edition Studley McQuark Puzz Dispenser! Boy, I had to eat an awful lot of Puzz to get enough proofs of purchase to qualify for that! Doesn't look very important. Studley McQuark's arch rival, the evil Dr. Transistor! Doesn't look very important. Doesn't look very important. Studley McQuark! My idol! I wonder what he would do in a situation like this. Freaky picture. <laughs> Aunt Polly painted it one time when she took the wrong medication. It's Uncle Lou. Before the operation. When Eugene isn't working in the kitchen, he's under the hood working on his old clunker. That's of no interest. The original greasy spoon.
Hi, Vera. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Ah! Your cat couldn't even drag itself out of bed! Oh, you're one to talk, Eugene. What with you getting up at the crack of noon every day? Even the mice know better than to eat here. The cheese is still in the trap. Ah! Wilbur, why don't you just sit down and order from the menu like a normal person? Uh, classy. Vera says this flea-infested thing ruins her decor. But I'm not sure what decor she's talking about. What are you reading? Interior Design Illustrated. Are you planning to do some renovating? Yeah, I want to board up the order window so I don't have to look at the jerk in the kitchen no more. <laughs> I'm a jerk? Who's the one who wants to redo the diner like freaking Bucking Horse Palace? I'm sorry, Wilbur. You'll have to excuse my husband's locker room language. Locker room? Oh, I'd like to lock her in a room. <laughs> yeah. With a boa constrictor. Who am I kidding? I couldn't do that. Not to a snake! How are you planning to redecorate the place? Well, I'm going for a real Art Nouveau motif. Imagine if you will. A chrome Venus de Milo in the corner next to the fake flamingo pond. The seats are covered with a nice leopard skin vinyl. There's bangles and dingle balls around every window. Oh, and there's neon lights everywhere. Nice, Vera. Real nice. I never noticed your fountain before. Is it new? I just got it. I'm trying to lend an air of class to this joint to offset the tackiness of Eugene's moose head. Hey! I put that up there for you, Vera! It looks just like your mother! You leave my mother out of this, you hairy baboon! The fountain sure is, uh, classy. It sure is. Ain't it just an eyeful? Eyeful? Looks more like an eyesore. Oh, what do you know? Your idea of decorating is to hang roadkill on the walls! Why do you need a mousetrap if you have a cat? The only thing that lazy furball knows how to catch is 40 winks! You're skating on thin ice, Eugene. You ought to know, you frigid old bat! Jerk. The truth of the matter, Wilbur, is that Muffin is too precious to be chasing icky old mice. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Kind of quiet in here today, isn't it? Oh, yeah, but you should have seen us a few hours ago. You know those hungry construction workers from the new bridge? They all come over here for lunch now. Look, Wilbur, are you going to order something to eat or not? Last time I ate here, there was a dead fly in my soup. Yeah, it's the heat that kills them. I just remembered. I gotta go now. Well, don't let me keep you. It's my limited edition Stubbly McQuark Puzz Dispenser. It's full of blocks of ice. Nah, why bother? I'll be happy when they finish the new bridge. This one just wasn't meant for heavy trucks. Cute little tyke. Odie's bait sure is lively. Hi, Odie. How are they biting today? 
They're not. You fish here every day? Yep. Best fishing spot in the whole of Boonesville. What's so special about this spot? Harry says this is the exact spot where he caught that big fish on the wall in his barber shop. Shouldn't you be in school? It's summer, Wilbur. Oh yeah, but I've seen you here in the spring and fall too. Well, uh, uh, sometimes I just don't feel good enough to go to school. But you feel good enough to fish, huh? Yeah, isn't that funny? You know what? I bet the fresh air does me good. Hey, what's in the box? Fresh bait. What kind of bait do you use? I used to use worms, but I didn't like them. Ugh, too slimy. So, now I use grasshoppers. Well, they sure are lively little suckers. Yep, the trout get one look at them, and they just start to slobber in. Any bites yet? No, not yet. But last week, I caught an old rubber boot. A rubber boot? Do you mean you haven't caught any fish here all summer? Don't worry. One way or another, that trout will be mine. Well, maybe you should try using lures instead. I don't use no sissy lures. Can I see your grasshoppers? No way! They'll hop out of the box, Wilbur. I don't want to lose any. <laughs> I remember when you were knee-high to one. Yeah, whatever. Can I buy some from you? Forget it. But I do know where you can get some. Hey, where can I get some grasshoppers? It'll cost you a buck to find out. Well... Well, Odie, you drive a hard bargain, but... There you go. Now, where can I get some grasshoppers? Oh, at the pet store, where you work. But we don't sell grasshoppers. Oh, that's too bad. You really should, you know. Check it out, Odie. A Studley McCork Puzz Dispenser. No way! Way? It's an official limited edition collector's item. Wow! I've never seen one like this before. It looks just like Studley, only smaller. Well, give me some grasshoppers, and it's yours. Okay, Wilbur, it's a trade. They're in the icebox outside Vera's. Go help yourself. Why are they in an icebox? Duh! To keep them frozen! I thought you said your bait was fresh. They are fresh, Wilbur. They'll start hopping around like crazy once you thaw them out. Well, how do you thaw them out? Well, I use my mom's microwave. Well, when she's not looking. Well, why do you keep them frozen? Grasshoppers are hard to come by most of the year. Except every spring there's tons of them down at the marsh. I catch a year's supply in the spring and keep them on ice so I have fresh bait all year round. Why do you keep them at Vera's? Because my mom says I can't keep them in her freezer. Can't I just take some from your bait box? I can't give you these grasshoppers. I'm using them. Thanks, kid. Hey, no prob. And if you ever need any frisky termites, I can make you a heck of a deal. for a gamma class life form. Whoa! What a trip! What, what happened? What happened? What happened? You passed my test! That's what happened! <laughs> How those puny neurons conducted that pulse, I'll never know! There must be a malfunction in the system! The results are accurate, boss. He passed fair and square. Fair and square? Fair and square? Don't! Never use those words around me again! 
Now throw them in the break while I prepare the next test. Fair and square. Ah, I'll be back for you in a few minutes. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> Shh! Keep it down! I'm on your side! Uh, exactly what side would that be? The side that's trying to prevent creatures like you from being ground up into burger meat. Oh, well, that definitely sounds like the side that I'm on. Who are you? My name is Astral. I'm a member of the Planet Huggers. What are Planet Huggers? It's an organization dedicated to the preservation of intelligent life throughout the galaxy. We oppose Orion Burger's barbaric process of planetary destruction. But we meet on the first Thursday of every month. What do you mean exactly by planetary destruction? I mean total bio-extermination. Oh, if you feel one of their intelligence tests, you'll see for yourself how awful it is. Yeah. I'm sorry to say that I've seen the protein harvesters perform their ghastly work. Orion Burger wiped out my home planet several years ago, and as far as I know, I'm the only survivor. That's terrible! And now they're planning to do the same thing to my planet. Just when I thought my life couldn't get any worse, now I'm not even at the top of the food chain anymore. What are you doing in the ventilation duct? Well, aside from getting my jumpsuit completely filthy, I'm spying on Zlark. I'm trying to collect evidence that intelligent life forms are being illegally harvested. So you're sneaking around through this ship, and those green guys don't even know that you're in here? You got that right. I'm a stowaway. Oh, if Zlark found out I was here, I'd be history. Whatever you do, don't let him know that I'm here. Why the IQ tests? Why don't they just eat me? They have to test you because they aren't supposed to harvest intelligent life forms. Intelligent life is a very scarce resource in the universe. Yeah, I've noticed. What are my chances for passing these tests? Mm, I wouldn't count on it. You don't look all that bright to me. Hey, I'll have you know that if they can stand the screaming, I can stand the pain. The tests aren't supposed to hurt. Those bozos were just zapping my head with electricity. It didn't exactly tickle. What was that thing you were waving in my face? I was just scanning your DNA for our records. I didn't mean for you to catch me. You weren't moving, so I figured that you had passed out or that you were dead. Dead? Come on, look around out there. Not many survived their neuroanalysis test. Hmm, I see what you mean. Uh-oh. I think I hear someone coming. Quickly, get away from the vent. And remember, you never saw me. Goo, the nerve of that Earthling passing one of my tests. Well, he won't feel like such a big man after he steps under my shrink. <laughs> You're a lot heavier than you look, human. <laughs> Easy, you idiot. We might be eating them later. Uh, sorry, boss. Uh, didn't mean to bruise our dinner. All right, human. You squeaked by the first test, but that was the easy part. Now we start testing your higher mental functions, beginning with your survival instincts. Um, what's my gerbil cage doing here? You're about to find out. Flemix, activate the shrink down. Did I scare you? Yes! Good! Now listen up. Intelligence is defined as the capacity to adapt, survive, and flourish. This is where we test the survive part of that definition. 
the path. All you have to do is find your way out of the cage. Got that? Well, sounds easy enough. <laughs> we'll see about that. Flummox, issue him a weapon. Weapon? Uh, wait, wait a minute. What do I need a weapon for? So many questions for such a little man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting out of here will be a piece of cake. There's a door on the bottom level. Sounds like my gerbils are snoozing in there. Whoa! Aha! There's the door! <laughs> I'll be out of here in no time! Hmm. I never noticed a magnet up there before. And it seems to be connected to that generator thingy. Gerbil chow! Best gerbil food money can buy. Keeps their coats nice and shiny. Well, at least I won't starve in here. I mean, just one of these peanuts could last me a month. Wow! My very own Space Blaster! I already have that. I'd better not. Wow, look at him go! Sounds like my gerbils are snoozing in there. Charlie, Louie, Winona, wake up, it's me, Wilbur! You're not my gerbils. You're not gerbils at all. <laughs> I'm not getting up. Well, at least I won't starve in here. I mean, just one of these peanuts could last me a month. So much for those nasty robo rodents. <laughs> no wait. This one's still kicking. Oh no. Spoke too soon. It's still going. A plastic water dish. Pretty flimsy looking. Wow! Something down there was hot!
It's still going! Eh, it's worth a try, I suppose. It worked! Whew, I hope this works. The smell in here is killing me! Yes! Carnage! I'm sorry it had to come to this, guys, but I do have a planet to save. I bore some red. I bore some blue. No matter what color, they're delicious to chew. <coughs> I hate being disturbed during brunch! Oh, uh, sorry, boss. It, it's just that the, the human specimen passed. Away? Oh, uh, no, no. He, uh, he didn't pass away. He passed the survival test. He did what? That's impossible! That pathetic human doesn't have the brains to pass! Well, he seems to be a rather bright one. Nonsense! Throw him back in a break! Yes, boss. I'll see to it that the next test is his last. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Wow! Watch it, you bubble-blowing buffoon! Oh, I wish those aliens would treat their guests with a little more courtesy. I wouldn't expect a lot of courtesy from them, especially not from Zlarg. Every time you pass one of his tests, you're delaying his harvest. Ha! Huh. I'll bet that you're really starting to try what little patience he has. Poor guy. Uh, by the way, what does he do while I'm working on one of his tests? He eats. He eats all the time. It's no wonder those gluttons need such a huge supply of protein for their restaurants. Well, glutton or not, he's not getting his tentacles on any of my protein. That's the spirit. Uh, I hear someone coming. I'll talk to you later. Ow! Take it easy, will ya? Prepared for sensory perception testing, boss. Huh? Oh, yeah, well, very good, yeah. Keep an eye on him whilst I finish up over here. Whoa! What's going on? Nothing to worry your pea brain little head about. I'm just getting your next test ready. Oh, I'm afraid to ask what I have to do this time. Well, I'll tell you then. All you have to do is find a hidden object using whatever feeble senses you may happen to have. Call it a treasure hunt, if you will. Okay. So, uh, what's the treasure? What's the treasure? <laughs> Why, it's something stupendous. Something magnificent. Something, something indescribable. <laughs> Psst, Flummox, what is the treasure? The, the treasure? I, I, I thought you were getting the treasure. You moron! How can we have a treasure hunt without a treasure? Go, let me think. Treasure, treasure, what can I use for a treasure? Oops! <laughs> Don't just float there, you moron! Get me something else to eat! Yeah! Yuck! What? Oh, here! Have a bite! Uh, oh, golly, no thanks. See, I'm really not very hungry. Good, isn't it? Why, I scour the farthest reaches of the galaxy in search of this delectable treasure and... Uh, treasure? <laughs> well, of course! What could be more appropriate? The treasure will be an Orion Burger! Ah! What the? Can't you read the sign? It says no trespassing! Say your prayers, hippie boy! You'd think that you humans could cooperate to pass a measly test! You're pathetic! Shoot! Just when I thought I was on a winning streak, 
I'd better go get the stuff I used to pass the first two tests so that I can focus on the third. That's of no interest. The new road isn't open yet. Ready or not, the new bridge is open for business. Doesn't look very important. What do you know? The new bridge is open! If those slobbery aliens turn me into a burger, they could use Stoli for the pickle. Stoli! Any tips for dealing with space aliens, Stoli? You know, Wibbler, I've always found that when it comes to space aliens, the best policy is to shoot first and ask questions later. <laughs> Wibbler, you look like you got the weight of the world on you soldiers. I do. Aliens are going to harvest the Earth if I don't pass some bizarre intelligence tests. Well, sock a doom, Wibbler! <laughs> Jebediah Booney, founder of Boonesville. Huh. I wonder if he was ever abducted by aliens. Nothing remarkable about that. Come on! What's all the ruckus? There's my cam! You don't have to... Knock the door off his hinges! Ah, a good day to you, man! So what's it going to be? Parking tickets, taxes, property sales, marriage licenses, tourist information, zoning ordinances, survey records, a bagpipe repair. You repair bagpipes here? Certainly! And I swear on the grave of Robbie Burns that I do the finest work this side of Glasgow. <laughs> uh, do you uh, have a set of pipes? No. My Uncle Lou used to have some, but he got rid of them. My Aunt Polly's taxes are too high. Well, if you've got a problem with your taxes, you'll have to take it up with the complaints department. Elgus! Get out here, you lazy sod! Ooh, that slack-jawed muttonhead! He's probably listening to that rock and roll music on those bloody headphones. I'll go rattle his backside for you, I will. Ooh, I'll be right out! Where's it? Oh, keep your shorts on! Afternoon, son. Could you play me a tune? I'll take complaints, son, not requests.
Aliens want to grind my butt into burger meat! Space aliens? Whoa! Now that's something to complain about! Unfortunately, it's a little out of my league. You should really be talking to the head honcho. Oh, uh, Mr. Mayor! You got a minute? Hmm, the boss man must be yakking on the phone again. Uh, you just wait right there. I'll, uh, I'll go see if I can rustle him up for you. Yeah, I, I hear you, I hear you! What one moment! <laughs> Wilbur, my boy! What a pleasant surprise! What can I do for you today? Aunt Polly says hello. Oh, isn't that nice? Uh, are you still living with your Aunt Polly? Yeah, uh... She's getting pretty frail these days, so she needs me to help her out around the house. Well, that's all well and good, Wilbur, but I really think you should consider getting your own place. Why, well, this happens to be an excellent time to buy some of our local real estate. What would I do with real estate? Make money, my boy. Lots of money! They're not making any more land, so prices are bound to go up. Uh, uh, <clears throat> at least over the long haul. I'm more concerned about the immediate future right now, to be honest with you. Oh, Wilbur, mark my words. In a few years, you'll wish you planned ahead. Where can I get some real estate? Just go to the handsome fella over at the town record. He'll take care of everything for you. I'll go buy some property right now. Excellent, excellent. Can't go wrong with real estate, Wilbur. Uh, hey, Angus, I'm sending a customer over to you. Angus! Angus! <sighs> I'll go and see if I can find him for you. I know he's back there somewhere. Oh, and don't forget to tell him that I said he should give you a good deal, okay? Ooh, come on! What's all the ruckus? Where's my cam? Oh, you don't have to... Ooh, lock the door off his hinges! You again? Oh, what a bloody nerve! What is it this time? Parking tickets, taxes, property sales, marriage licenses, tourist information, zoning ordinances, survey records, a bagpipe repair. I'd like to buy some property, please. Magic! You've come to the right place, man. So, how much do you have to spend? A hundred? Hundred and fifty thousand? Do you have anything a little cheaper? Could have. What sort of price range are we looking at exactly? What do you have in the $20 range? $20? Hardly a king's ransom. What do you expect for that amount? Well, if you don't have anything... Whoa, they're slow down there. I didn't say that. Let me go and see what I have. Hmm. No, no. Huh, too much. Ha! Don't think so. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, this one's lovely. Oh, but it's a million five. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Uh, wait, here we are. <coughs> oh, it's a little dusty. Ooh. Okay, Sonny Jim. I have a small island here. It's not much of a looker, but it only costs, uh, including closing fees and tax, exactly twenty dollars. Why is this island so cheap? Oh, because it's very small. It's just a wee thing. Truth be told, it's more of a, a, a rock than an island, but uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It's ideal for a young single lad like yourself just starting out. Where is this island exactly? According to this old deed, it's the first island to the south of the northernmost island in Lach Boonsville. First island to the south? What's that all about? This deed was issued during the Boonsville Gold Rush some 50 years ago. During that frenzy, they didn't have the time to do precise surveys. They just scribbled down a crude description of the piece of property in question. The island to the south of the northernmost island, for example. Not to worry, though. It's not strict legalese, but it's still a binding contract. Who owns the northernmost island? 
Oh, that would be Elmo Perkins. Uh, uh, a right charming fellow. I'm sure he'd be happy to have you as a neighbor. Where do I sign? Right at the X, sir. Congratulations! You will now own a piece of Boonsville, <laughs> albeit a, a small one. Thanks for all of your... <laughs> hey, we got some mail! Not another ginormous phone bill. And a dog whistle? Oh, I wonder how much she paid for it. Aunt Polly's gonna have some explaining to do. A Silver Screamer Digitech ultrasonic dog training whistle. It's so high-pitched, only animals can hear it. Another ginormous phone bill. Kidding me? <laughs> you actually see a rich plumber in my future, Miss Sabrina? Ooh, what? And he's good looking too! <laughs> Wee! No one's looked at my pipes in a long time. <laughs> Whoops! I gotta go, Miss Sabrina. See you later. All right, Wilbur. Why didn't you say you were hungry, Wilbur? Oh, my goodness. Let me fix you a little something to nibble on. Oh, let's see. I could whip you up a peanut butter and cabbage sandwich. Or maybe you'd like some prune fried turnips on toast. <laughs> I'm really not very hungry, Aunt Polly. Oh, so you're after something to drink then? Well, I have just the thing for you. A health shake! Actually, I'm not very thirsty. Thirsty? What do you mean, thirsty? It ain't thirsty. Oh, it sounds like you need this health shake more than I thought. You don't even know what day it is. What's in this health shake? It's a new recipe. I just clipped it out of the National Pet Lab. It's very high in fiber. You know, if you take care of your colon, your colon will take care of you. That shake looks pretty awful. The worse it is, the better it is for you. Can I have some carrot juice? You know, I got to save this juice for myself. Why, if I don't have my six quarts every morning, I can't see a thing. It simply works wonders on my eyesight. Why, I'm up to 90-90 vision now. We have to talk about the phone bill. Phone bill? Oh, for land's sake, I forgot to take them again. Thanks for reminding me, Wilbur. Hmm. Mm. Five gallons of carroty goodness. The Juice Master 2000. You don't want to be using that bad boy without the proper eye protection. I'd better not. Aunt Polly's still using it. I love my Aunt Polly, but I'm really getting sick of strained vegetables. It's just the toilet. Chocolate Turbolax. 
Instant relief never tasted so chocolatey. No harm in taking those. Aunt Polly won't need them with that new diet of hers. That's of no interest. I can't take that. I'm not going to mess with Aunt Polly's medications. She needs them. Hanlon's Point Marina. Oh, Excuse me. Uh, I, what do you want? Is that your truck out there? <laughs> that was my truck. I was just cruising down the highway doing an easy 90 miles an hour. And minding my own business, and all of a sudden from out of nowhere, there's this stupid detour sign, and I, I figured they'd finish the new bridge, so I took the detour! But the next thing I know, Gloria and me, are uh, floating with the fishes. Where did all the lake water go? Bad. I was hauling diapers. They soaked up half the lake after I crashed my truck into it. Are you hurt? No, but poor Gloria. Just look at it there. I promised to give her a bath, but I didn't mean like this. I'm sure a good mechanic could fix her up. Bad. She won't be the same. She'll be damaged goods. You must have been scared. You're scared? I was terrified. I pee my bang pants. Not that that's so unusual. What are you going to do now? I guess I'll have to tell my wife I went off the deep end with Gloria. Yeah, and my, my truck, uh, not my sister-in-law. This wouldn't have happened if you didn't drive so fast. That... No, oh, sure. Uh, rub it in while I'm worrying how I'm gonna explain this to the boss. I'm sure your company has insurance. <laughs> uh, not that boss. Uh, my wife. She's always hopping on me that I drive like a crazy person. I gotta go now. Ah, uh, good. I really need to be alone right now. Uh. Out of business. There's nothing in there but mice. That's a fine-looking dinghy. Who is it? Don't come any closer, boy. This here island is private property. Yeah, yeah, I know it's private property, because I just bought it. You been chewing loco, wee boy? I own the northernmost island, and you can't buy it, because I ain't selling it. Northernmost island? Now why would I want that wee bitty thing over there? Huh? Well, I'll be hog-tied. Oh, uh, no offense intended, Truffles, but... That's nothing but a pile of rock. Yeah, but it's the northernmost pile of rock, which means you own it. You're standing on the first island to the south of the northernmost island, and I have a deed right here that says I own it. Eh, uh, you better read it to me. I left my reading glasses at the library. It says that you're on my island, so kindly remove yourself from it. Well, 
We'll just see about that. Shuffle, get over here. Keep an eye on this young hippie boy. If he tries to come ashore, you sick him. Now, I want to pay me a little visit to the town hall and get this all straightened out. Doesn't look very important. I wish that pig would get off the dock. I wish that pig would get off the dock. <laughs> Looks like the tide is out, even though the lake doesn't have a tide. Great. I own the island, but I can't go ashore because of a pig with an attitude. That's a fine looking veggie patch. I can't believe I spent my last few bucks on that dump. to those aliens, I'd hate to see what their garbage looks like. Ugh. It looks like roadkill, and has an aftertaste to match. What a wreck! And it totally destroyed Perkins' vegetable patch. I mean, my vegetable patch. No Trex Parsonin? Oh, look at her. She's off in piggy dreamland. Whoa! And Aunt Polly thinks that my room's a pigsty. The cover reads, Compliments of Cartwright Excavation Equipment. Cooking for One. The Single Man's Guide to Stewing Cabbage. Hey, it's a map of a mine. I wonder where it is. The paper looks really old and brittle. It would probably fall apart if I touched it. Looks like Perkins' mother. <laughs> I guess thick facial hair runs in the family. Here, piggy, 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 come and get it. Have a yummy Orion burger. Whoa, look at her wolfing down. She must not have any taste buds. That's it. Go find the rest of that burger. Work that sniffer, girl. Moonshine? No wonder Perkins didn't want me poking around in his island. Hmm. It's kind of hard to read his writing on this empty jug, but I think the label says, Perkins Private Reserve Hooch, aged two weeks. Ha! <laughs> he even spelled XXX wrong. It's just a stool. This must be where the hooch comes out. What a rust bucket. This boiler should have been junked years ago. Hmm? Propane gas. I shouldn't be fueling around with that. There. Got the gas flowing. I think the burner needs to be lit.
distilled carrot juice. <laughs> Yum. Here goes nothing. Now where did that little Sputnik go with the burger? Wow! Oh, this stuff is potent. My eyes are all tingly. Truffles must be too far away to hear the whistle. All right, Burger, here I come. Truffles, Truffles. Where, are where are you? Wow, great acoustics. She sounds really far away. Sounds like I'm getting further away from truffles. Truffles! Sounds like I'm about the same distance from her as last time. Sounds like I'm getting closer to truffles. Use a whistle on that? <laughs> Sounds like I'm getting further away from truffles. Sounds like I'm getting closer to truffles. <coughs> Sounds like I'm getting closer to truffles. Sounds like I'm getting further away from truffles. Man. <coughs> Sounds like I'm about the same distance from her as last time. Sounds like I'm getting closer to truffles. <coughs> Sounds like I'm getting further away from truffles. I can't use that. Truffles! <coughs> Sounds like I'm about the same distance from her as last time. All right! I finally hit the mother load! <laughs> Whoa! 
That little Sputnik has my burger! Give me that burger! Gah! Get in there, you stupid creature! Hey! Who are you calling stupid? I just passed three of your intelligence tests! Oh? Well, guess what? So did your soulmates. But as you can see, the next test was just a little more than they could handle. <laughs> so don't you get cocky with me, human. Gee, <laughs> what a nice guy. You passed another test. Yeah, well, you don't have to act so surprised about it. Sorry. Hey, who knows? Maybe there's hope for you Earthlings this time after all. This time? What do you mean, this time? Well, according to our records, Orion Burger harvested your planet once before, some 50 million years ago. 50 million years ago? Oh, man. You mean to say that the dinosaurs disappeared because they were made into Orion Burgers? The protein harvesters must have accidentally left behind enough genetic material to allow life to re-establish itself. So that's what Zlarg meant when he said that the Earth was a second-growth planet. Beautiful! I think I need to lie down for a minute. Ah, just in time. Let the language test begin! <laughs> Look familiar, human? Uh, it's the door to my aunt's house, I think. Not sure? Well, I guess we'd better see who's home then. Yummy! Coming! <laughs> <laughs> Keep your britches on! Who's there? Exterminator! Exterminator? Oh, thank goodness you're here. I swear the mice are getting bigger by the minute. Aunt Polly, go back inside. He's really not a... Uh, Wilbur, stop being silly and get down from there before you hurt yourself. Wait out here, madame, whilst I tend to your pests. Oh my, this yard is a shambles. I'll have to have the gardener over tomorrow. Why, these are not mice. This house is overrun with borks! Stubborn little pests! Ah, good eating too. Give him the extermination instructions. Here, this little baby tells you everything you need to know about exterminating borks. Exterminate the borks. Okay, so what's the catch? Do you speak borkies? Uh, no. Well, there's your catch. Now don't come out until you've exterminated them all. What a mess! Oh well, Aunt Polly always wanted a rec room. <coughs> Looks like this bork has got a bad connection. <coughs> I'd better get rid of all the borks first. <laughs> How humiliating for you, human. Three tests down, and who knows how many more to go. Well, I'll go get the stuff that I know I'll need so that I can concentrate on figuring out what else I'll need. Oh, hello, Wilbur. 
I had a little energy left over after making the beds, doing the laundry, mowing the lawn, and changing the muffler on the car, so I thought I'd tune up the piani. <laughs> Why are you tuning the piano? It's got to sound just right for my student. Big recital coming up, don't you know? Aunt Polly, you haven't had a piano student in 15 years. They all quit when you started to lose your hearing. What? You lost your earring? I didn't even know you had your ear pierced. Did you buy something from the home shopping show again? Well, why in tarnation what I call a bone chopping show? <laughs> I'm not a butcher. I said the home shopping show. Oh, that. Well, I suppose I might have bought a few personal items I couldn't do without. Um, did my ultrasonic dog whistle arrive yet? We don't even have a dog anymore. That's not the point, Wilbur. The point is they sold 3,000 of those little babies in 10 minutes. I had to get one before they sold them all out. I'm afraid to ask, but how much did the whistle cost? It only set us back $149.95, plus taxes and shipping and handling, of course, and maybe a few bucks more for speedy overnight delivery. We sell the exact same whistle where I work! Whistle while you work? Well, yes, I find that makes the day go by much more quickly. <laughs> we sell the same whistle for about three bucks! Deluxe? Why, of course it is. That's why it costs so much. We can't afford to keep buying all this junk. It isn't junk. It's high-quality merchandise at affordable prices on an easy installment plan. Please, no more calls to the home shopping show. Oh, none for me, thanks. I just ate. See you later. All right, Wilbur. Pills, pills, pills. Aunt Polly's got more prescriptions than I can count. No harm in taking those. Aunt Polly won't need them with that new diet of hers. Chocolate Turbolax. Instant relief never tasted so chocolatey. Ooh, you kidding me? <laughs> you actually see a rich plumber in my future, Miss Sabrina? Ooh, what? And he's good looking too! Ooh, <laughs> wee! No one's looked at my pipes in a long time. <laughs> Whoops, I gotta go, Miss Sabrina. Did you just call that psychic hotline again? Hmm, when? Yes. See you later. All right, Wilbur. I'm back. I'm overjoyed.
Damn, you dumb mutt! That stupid mutt has a nasty streak a mile wide! When he was still a puppy, he picked a fight with a lawnmower and chewed it to smithereens! He still has the peg leg to prove it! I'm back! Yeah, so? Uh, excuse me. No, kid. I don't have time for autographs right now, so go away. If we were on 64 going east... You look kind of stressed out, mister. Uh, uh, yeah. You see, uh, the thing is we're, uh, sort of late for a gig, you know. We had plenty of time to get there before you took the wheel. I can't even catch a few Z's without you getting us into some kind of trouble. Are you guys lost? <laughs> I'll say. I can't even find this dreary little burg on the map. I was only asleep five hours. How could you get us this lost? I'm warning you right now, bye. I'll be so steamed if we end up missing this gig. Where's your gig? Oh, uh, well, uh, our gig is in, uh... Uh, let's, um, the gig is, uh, where was we going again, love? What? You mean you've been driving for five hours and you don't even know where we're going? Oh, you are just amazing, Vibe. You're a real piece of work. I should have listened to my mother and become a professional tattoo artist. Do any of you know where your gig is? Oh, for Pete's sake. 
It's in Toledo! Oh yeah, Toledo. Now I remember. But your pants must be too tight, because it's obvious you are not getting enough blood flow to your brain. I'm sorry to tell you, but you're nowhere near Toledo. Oh, sure we are. We have to be. I ought to know. I live here. Look, there's no way he could have taken us that far off course. Now get lost. I gotta figure out how to get us into Toledo by 7. Would you believe that I've been abducted by aliens? Do they argue like that all the time? Can you talk? Well, that can must be drive right. you crazy. Could you stop drumming for just a minute? He looks like he's in a trance. Did you take I know you Could I interest you in some chocolate? Don't know. Oh, silly me. That wasn't chocolate. That's of no interest. I'm not sure, but I think that's a Thunder Blaster 2000. Uh. Take Aunt Polly weeks to clean this place up after I saved the earth. That Bork's prune recipes are just as weird as Aunt Polly's. I can't take that. Batter up! Whoa! He blowed up real good! Wow! It's totaled! Snowfbolt! <laughs> Hello! Man! He beat my high score! I can't believe this bork is beating my high score! beats my high score! Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, there's a fork in my tub! My rubber ducky! He still makes bath time lots of fun! Poor little guy. I hope he's okay. He's looking a little flushed.
nothing remarkable about that. It'd be easier to do that from downstairs. Oh. That should make the railing more slippery for him. That pork ate all my dirty clothes! Hmm. I guess the pork didn't notice this dirty old sock back here. Now that's got a smart! Gross! He's even flatter than one of Vera's flapjacks! I'm not touching that! This is the hickory that Aunt Polly chopped last fall. Ah. That's the most interesting thing I've seen on the tube in a long time. I'd better get this downstairs before it goes out. There it goes! Aunt Polly's toilet scrubbing gloves. She was looking for those last week. Boy, the Surgeon General wasn't kidding. Boy, the Surgeon General wasn't kidding. That hole is right over Aunt Polly's room! A perfect fit! Aunt Polly's always wanted a skylight. It's a darn good thing I'm wearing these rubber gloves! Sounds like someone's getting a real charge out of this! That wasn't in the spirit of Christmas, but what the heck. Well, that's all of them. Hey, where's my aunt? Is she in there? Where is she? Uh. Oh, you didn't! 
Easy now. You'll never pass the last test anyway, so what's the difference? Take heart in the fact that this was a much less painful fate than when I harvest the rest of your planet. Oh, you animal! <laughs> there is just no place in this human. What? Eating my ant is supposed to make me happy? To the break with him! If this human thinks he knows how to make people happy, then that'll be his final test! That big green animal just ate my Aunt Polly! Yes, I know. I witnessed the whole thing. It was awful. I'm so sorry. Why did he have to drag my Aunt Polly into this? Come on, Wilbur. You can't afford to get all emotional right now. You have to pull yourself together for the logic test. Oh, Zlarg is gonna pay for this! The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Yeah? Well then, Zlarg's gonna fall awfully hard! What do I do now? These tests are hopeless! You can't give up, Wilbur. Zlarg may have eaten your ant, but you can still stop him from harvesting the rest of your planet. Yeah, you're right. I'll pass these stupid tests. Somehow. That's the spirit. Besides, you're almost there. The logic test is the last one. Hallelujah! What happens if I pass this last test? If you pass, your planet becomes a fully sanctioned intergalactic refuge for developing intelligent life forms. As such, Zlarg would have no choice but to call off the harvest. What? Zlarg call off the harvest? I wouldn't trust that big blowhard any further than I could throw him. True. But he knows that the planet huggers are watching. He won't take that chance. Ha! If he only knew how closely you're watching him. I'll talk to you later. I have to collect my thoughts. Okay, Wilbur. HQ calling slug. Do you read me? Over. Yeah. Just what I don't need. Uh, <clears throat> I, I read you loud and clear, boss. What's going on out there, Sluggy? Is there a, uh, <laughs> problem with the harvest? <laughs> no problem. Uh, the human passed a few tests as all. <laughs> I don't know how exactly, don't but I... No, Slug. I see. Well, uh, do you want I should send in a backup already? No! I mean, well, that, that won't be necessary, because uh, I have everything under control now, so... <laughs> That's good to hear, Slug. Very good. So, uh, what do you have planned for the logic test? Oh, no need to worry about that, boss. Because <laughs> these humans are completely illogical. <laughs> Why, just a few minutes ago, the test specimen actually attacked me. Ridiculous. So, you see... The chances of one of these irrational creatures passing my logic test are just about zero! That goes without saying. All right, Slog. It appears that you have the situation well in hand. Carry on. HQ out. Flamek! Yes, yes, boss? Get that human in here! Hurry it up, but I mean PDQ pronto! You got it, boss! Oh, it's only you, Wibbler. <laughs> Looks like you could use a belt. <laughs> well, don't mind if I do. Oh, oh, oh wow! Oh, I, I gotta tell you. I consider myself somewhat of a connoisseur, but that is, that is, that is primo hooch. Hey. Is Elmo's rot gut really that good? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, you'd have to go clear over to, to clear over the Boonsville to find quality like this. Right. <laughs> this is Bonesville, you twit! It is?
boy, I must be even more looped than I thought. And I knew I was sort of looped. <laughs> Elmo made that hooch himself. Is that so? Well, then you, sir, you make some of the finest swill in the state. Glad you like it, Stooley. The name is Stooley, M. Elmner. Elmo aged that hooch for an entire two weeks. Well, no wonder it's so good. I gotta get me a case of this exquisite brew. <laughs> you can't. That's the last bottle, and I ain't got my still no more. This little hoodlum swiped it from me. Uh, say it ain't so, Wibbler. It's all nice and legal. Gus sold it to me. Oh, he did, did he? Hey, where did the town hall go? I blasted it to smithereens. That's where it went. I had to take it. I'm trying to save the Earth. Well, that's no excuse, Wibbler. If you really wanted to save the world, you'd let us make some more of that... that heavenly nectar. Uh. You know, I'll bet if we bottle that stuff and put it in, like a nice yuppie label on it, we can make zillions! Hey, what do you say? You could be the brewmeister, huh? And I'll be the brains! <laughs> Great idea, brains! Except for one small thing. We ain't got no steel! Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't say I had all the details to work, so give me a break, okay? I'll go grab the stuff I used to get this far. The Boonsville Welcome Wagon! Boonsville's finest! Well rested and ready for action! Wouldn't you know it? The jellies are almost gone! Keys in the ignition and ready for hot pursuit! Keys in the ignition and ready for hot pursuit! It's locked! Freeze, mister. Welcome down. Spread them. Wow! These jaws look like they could open just about anything! Reach, bucko. Freeze, mister. I'm out of the jelly out. You guys can have the island. I don't want to deprive you of that raunchy home brew. All right. I'm back in business. Easy, old timer. Just let me handle the negotiations, will you? <laughs> OK.
Okay, Wibbler, I tell you what. I'll give you a big ball of rubber bands and my jar of antique toenail clippings. I, I've been collecting them for years. Yeah, they're great. Ugh. I'll just give you the island, no charge. Nice try, Wibbler. Okay, 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 okay. Forget about it. Forget about the other stuff, okay? How's about a big smelly fish? Huh? Huh? The kid who gave it to me said it's hardly been used. Well, how can I turn down an offer like that? You just bought yourself an island, fellas. I want names! Sounds like somebody finally locked up Mayor Gus. Doesn't look very important. I can't see him in there, but it's definitely Mayor Gus. Nothing remarkable about that. I'm an elected civic official! This big tire is just like the one old peg leg eats his lunch out of. Hello? <laughs> I want names! Help! <laughs> if you let go of that stupid fish for a minute, he could get his head out. What a dumb dog. <laughs> All stomach and no brain. <laughs> Nothing remarkable about that. Oh, come on, guys! I can't take that. There isn't enough slack in the chain. Huh? <laughs> Is anybody out there? <laughs> Release me, I say! <laughs> Who's Here goes nothing! For this outrage? <laughs> wow! <clears throat> Excuse me, your mayorship. Oh, hi, Wilbur. <laughs> Uh, thanks for rescuing me. No problem. Of course, you understand, I'll have to bill you for all the damage you caused here to the... Oh, would you look at this? What did you go and do to yourself now, you dumb canine? Okay, stop your whimpering, I'll get you out. <laughs> stop it, stop it! That tickles me! Heel boy! <laughs> have a breath then! <laughs> It's Pegleg's leather dog collar. Looks like Mayor Gus didn't get to make his phone call. The National Tattler, Aunt Polly's favorite tabloid. Why so glum, buddy? Huh? Oh, uh, Roxy's mad at me. Again. Wanna talk about it? Not particularly. Why is Roxy mad at you? Well, on top of getting us lost, causing us to miss our gig, and misplacing some of the band's equipment, it turns out that today is our leather anniversary, which of course I totally forgot. Oh, it's just not my day, I just not my day at all. 
leather anniversary? Yeah, that's right. The big one, you know? Oh man, I can't believe I forgot. How did you forget such an important anniversary? Oh, half the time I don't even know what city I'm in, let alone what day it is. You know, life on the road and all. It's a bloody occupational hazard, I tell you. I don't know what day it is either. Oh, are you a musician too? No, I don't know what day it is because I'm stuck in a time warp. I didn't think you was a musician. Have you and Roxy been together for a long time? Yeah, yeah, we've been through a lot together. Oh, it seems like only yesterday we was touring with the Yard Turtle. Maybe you should send her some flowers. Nah, it'll take more than a few daisies to patch things over this time, man. Oh, I've never seen her this mad before. I'm afraid this is the end of the road for us, uh, and the group too. You can't give up on her! The world needs you! Well, I didn't realize you were such a big fan. No, no, when I say the world needs you, I'm not talking about your music. The world needs you because it's going to be destroyed by space aliens if you and Roxy don't work things out real quick. Oh man, I'm having a rotten day as it is. Don't be laying some kind of space alien trip on me, alright? How can you smooth things over with her? Oh, I really don't know. But I suppose if I had a proper anniversary gift for her, I wouldn't be in this mess in the first place. Why don't you get her an anniversary gift then? What, you daft? I can't just give her any old thing. You know, it is our leather anniversary after all. Well, it would have to be uh, something, uh, you know, appropriate for the occasion. You know, something that, uh, well, that shows our care. You know, something, uh, I don't know, something, well, you know, uh, something hip. Huh? So, get her something hip. Oh, you're a riot, you are. There isn't a hip anniversary gift to be found within miles of this dreary little burg. What did you get her for your last anniversary? Last year was our tattoo anniversary. That yeah, was an easy one, right? Biggest problem I had was finding enough real estate on her for another tattoo. Do you think this leather choker would be a good anniversary present? Leather choker? Well, it uh, is appropriate for the occasion, and uh, oh, it is rather hip. No, oh, who am I kidding? It's perfect! Oh, she'll love it! How can I ever repay you, man? Can I have your record collection? Hey, why not? I don't have a record player anymore. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Wow! That's a whole lot of vinyl! Shake it, baby! Oh, Eugene, you're so romantic! What was that? Ah! Uh, uh, Roxy, I've, uh, I've got something for you. Don't try to sweet talk me, you little schlep. You did remember our anniversary. Oh, what? It's beautiful. How did you know? I'm so sorry, baby. And if I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times, don't you start on my... Whoa. And not a moment too soon! Go! <laughs> oh.
no, 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 no! You passed! You actually passed! I, I, I can't believe it! You'd better believe it, Bubble Butt! It was a piece of cake! Uh, um, uh, boss? Uh, uh, what, what do we do now? No one's ever passed all the tests before! I'm aware of that, you flying nightlight! Just send him back! Deploy the beacon and get us out of here! Aye, aye, boss! Oh, did you say you want me to let him go? Uh, what, what about the harvest, boss? You nincompoop! He passed the stupid tests, so there isn't gonna be a harvest! Oh, oh, uh, that, that makes sense, I think. Um, oh, you're the boss after all. All right, smarty pants, let's go. You know the drill. You know, Bubble Butt, I'm really gonna miss our little times together. So will I, Earthling. Uh, but you know, I still can't understand how you passed all those tests. Uh, no offense, but your brain is so puny. Oh, sure, if you had more than one brain, I might understand, but you don't. I checked myself. You should be in the galactic record books for this. More than one brain, ain't it? And wait a minute. More than one brain? Hey, 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 wait a minute! A Flummox! Flummox! Bring that human back here! On the double! Phew! What's up, boss? Did I forget something? Just shush up for a minute there, would ya? I think I'm on to something here. Computer! How many life forms are aboard the ship? Scanning. There are currently four life forms aboard the ship. Let's see. There's me. And you, and him, and, uh, and, hmm, I count only three. I'd better count again. Uh, there's me. Oh, you moron, don't you get it? We have a stowaway. Computer, where is this fourth life form? The fourth life form is in the ship's ventilation system. Woohoo! Well, well, well. A planet hugger. I should have known. Let me go, you barbaric blob of pus. You're oozing all over my jumpsuit. I'll settle down. Looks like we'll be harvesting your pathetic little planet after all, human. But you can't. I passed all the tests. That's not fair. Fair? Ha! You should talk. You've obviously been getting help from this stowaway. You're disqualified for cheating! You'll never get away with this, Larg! We'll see about that. Flummox, send this scraggly human back to his planet. He can say goodbye to his loved ones before we clean them all up into teensy little bits of burger meat! <laughs> I can almost taste them now. Ugh, you're one sick puppy. Aye, but you're a feisty one. I think I'd better let you cool your jets in my meat locker. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll have you for my post-harvest snack. <laughs> uh oh! If Astral's locked up, then this thing is gonna zap me back to Earth for good this time. That means we're all gonna be burger meat. Oh no, I can't let that happen. Come on, Brain, I gotta do something real quick! But what? There. Everything's set. I guess there's nothing left to say, but... Buh bye bye <laughs> You're looking pretty out of it, Flummox. Oh, that's funny. I don't feel so great either. I must be coming down with something. Can you stand on one leg and touch your nose? I think so. Um, uh, no, wait. I seem to have misplaced my legs. And my nose. You look lost. Do you know where you are? No. Uh, what happened? I'm not sure. But you sure made a mess of the abductatron. Oh, don't worry about that. I'll clean it up later, boss. Boss? How do you get these big doors to open? Oh, lost your keys. Oh, I'm having one of those days too, boss. Do you know who you are? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm really confused right now. 
Do you know who I am? Oh, yeah. Uh, you're Slark, my wonderful boss. I'm hungry. Where is my meat locker? You forgot where the meat locker is? Ugh. You must be a little confused, too. Uh, follow me, boss. Uh, oh, which one looks tasty today, boss? Um, how about this one? Oh, the scrawny one? Oh, whatever you say, boss. I d d didn't think I'd see y you again. I how did, d d did you escape? Well, things were a little dicey at first, but then I took a moment to reflect on my situation, and, well, a solution just sort of hit me. Ugh, what a creepy place this is. E every one of these creatures is from a planet that's already been harvested. And I'll bet that they're all intelligent life forms. Unbelievable! I guess that gluttonous green blob likes to keep a few choice cuts aside for himself. Y yeah no fooling. And I would have been Zlarg's lunch if you hadn't saved me. Are you okay? I will be, a after I thaw out a bit more. Which way did Zlarg go? He, he went to the bridge to harvest your planet. Uh, why are we whispering? I don't want Bubble Butt to hear us. He thinks that I'm Zlarg. Y you're kidding! That's amazing! Will you help me stop the harvest? Uh, I wish I could, but I can hardly move right now, except to shiver. You better go on without me. Take care, Astral. I'm gonna stop Zlarg now. H how are you gonna stop him? I haven't thought that far ahead, but I'm sure that something will come to me. I... I see. Well, good luck. <clears throat> um, to the bridge, Flummox! Uh, there's a human loose up there! A human? Oh, oh dear. Uh, uh, what does a human look like, boss? He's big and fat and green and ugly! Oh, sounds hideous, boss. He is, Flummox. He really is! There he is, Flummox. The human! Ah, oh, you are kidding. He's disgusting. And he's one of the better looking humans. Earth, what a pitiful planet. We'll be putting it out of its misery. Now, you know what to do, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, actually, no. No, oh, go and get him and throw him in the brig. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> right away, boss. All right, human. Are you gonna come along quietly, or am I gonna have to get rough? Human? Stop fooling around, Flummox. Can't you see that I'm busy? I don't have time to play games with you. Mechanized moron. I warned you. Now I'm gonna let my diodes do the talking. Woo! <laughs> have you got insane? What is the matter with you? B -b -b Boss, is that you? Well, who else would I be, you idiot? <gasps> it is you. Uh, but, but wait, if you are you, then who's that in the turbo lift? Come on, come on. Oh, no. Not you again. Now, my friend, can you read what this button says? Actually, I'm a little too close. If you could back me up just a bit, say, a foot or two. The button says auto harvest one push and we start harvesting your precious little planet no don't please you know i enjoy pushing this button but today since you're my guest i'll let you do the honors let him go slurg huh i said let him go <laughs> I'm taking you in, Zlarg. We've got you outnumbered. Outnumbered? <laughs> but I win it. Never. Put the flummox to the escape pod. Yeah. They're getting away. Ah, uh, don't worry about them. He won't get far in that little runabout. I'm glad he's out of my hair for a little while. Hey, speaking of hair, I think this is yours. Thanks. 
Um, has anyone ever told you you have really nice hair? Uh, no. At least no one other than my gym teacher. Hey, we just saved the earth, didn't we? We certainly did. Wow! I've never done anything like that before in my whole life! Look at me. Some little guy from some little town. One minute I'm selling flea powder at the pet store. Next minute I'm fighting demented aliens in outer space. Yep, you have a great story to tell when you get home. Home? Oh, come on. How can I go back to a normal, boring life after I've tooled around the galaxy in a spaceship? There's nothing for me in Boonesville anymore. Not even Aunt Polly. Here's a thought. I don't know if you'd be interested, but I'm pretty sure I can get your position in my organization. When I tell my supervisor how you handled Zlarg, I just know he'd welcome you as an official planet hugger. Really? You mean I could zoom around outer space like you and fight alien evildoers? Well, you might have to take a desk job at first. I don't care! I'll do it! Wilbur Wafflemeyer, Space Cadet! Uh, do you know how to drive one of these things? Not as such. Well, I guess it's time you learned. First, let me launch the space buoy. There. Okay, now push that button over there. This one? No, no, not- Whoa! 